By the end of this video, you will be able to evaluate the authority of a source in order to determine if the information is appropriate for your research. When we encounter information online, we can't always tell who the author is. Search results look similar and authority is often hard to determine. For example, while similar in appearance, these two pictures are different. One is a news article and the other is a blog post. These two sources have different authority, and understanding the difference will help you to decide whether to use it for your research. So what is authority? Authority is the knowledge and experience that qualifies a person to write or speak as an expert on a given subject. Evaluating the authority of a source requires understanding who created it, how they created it, and why they created it. To evaluate authority, you should first recognize that knowledge and information are created by people like you and me, and therefore prone to error and bias. Secondly, you should recognize that information also changes and develops over time. This picture illustrates the knowledge creation process. What you see represented here is a typical event-related publication cycle. The center represents the topic, the event, the discovery, or the artistic creation. And the path shows how the topic becomes, through different kinds of interpretation, a part of our collective knowledge. Whenever something major occurs, Let's say the West African Ebola outbreak. A conversation gets started. This conversation takes place instantly over the web, radio, and television. However, the information quality and quality control varies widely among them. Social media provides immediate responses to news events and allows people to communicate instantly. Since anyone can post, it can be personal and one-sided, which can create a breeding ground for speculation and misinformation. This means that while it may be a great place to discover news and issues, it may not be the best place to look for reliable details about them. Within a day or two of a major event taking place, details about it will appear in the news. News journalists write for a general audience, and unlike the people posting to social media, journalists are held to professional codes of ethics that require them to check the accuracy of their information. They can still get facts wrong, but they are required to try to get the facts right. So what they report is more likely to be more accurate than speculative. There is more authority in these types of sources, and they can be useful for academic purposes. As soon as a week later, magazine journalists, people writing for The Week, Newsweek, Time, not tabloids, will write longer articles on the event. As more time passes, the details of an event become more certain, and writers have more time to research and analyze them. Anywhere from a month to three years later, an even lengthier popular book might appear. Popular books provide further context and reflection about the event. These sources do have authority, but they are usually written for a more general, non-academic audience. While popular books are being created, academic journal articles are also being created by people like your professors. This happens within months to years after the event occurs. Scholarly books are also being written, which take more time. Both of these types of publications are detailed and well-researched, and they appear in academic journals or academic books. These are journals and books that you usually won't find at a bookstore. To publish in these places, scholars not only need to meet advanced educational requirements, they need to pass through the peer review process. These sources have more academic authority because of the peer review, so they can be useful for academic research. When enough time passes, the event is absorbed into our collective knowledge. All of the details that we know become a part of our history, and they will appear in a reference work, for example, in an encyclopedia or on Wikipedia. The purpose of encyclopedia articles is to provide some general context about the event. These articles are a great place to start your research because they often alert you to key issues, keywords, and other references about a topic. Now that you understand the ways in which information is created, you can become a part of the creation process by looking at the sources, evaluating them for authority, and using them for your research. 
whether it's looking at the most authoritative sources to help you write a research paper or scanning social media to learn about breaking news, understanding who created it, how the information was created, and why it was created will help you to form your own opinion and enter into the research conversation.